For thousands of years, thunder and lightning were mysterious events, either personified as gods to be worshipped or considered to be the acts of certain angry gods. There are different local traditions and beliefs about these thunder and lightning gods, but they were generally seen as protectors from the forces of nature, givers of bountiful harvests, and the ones who fought alongside warriors during times of war. Gods of lightning and thunder come from all mythologies from around the world. Here's a look at some of the most prominent ones. Number 1. Zeus Zeus was the supreme god of thunder and lightning in Greek religion and one of the most well-known. He's commonly represented as a bearded man holding a thunderbolt, but is sometimes depicted with an eagle when he doesn't have his weapon. It was believed that he gave signs to mortals through thunder and lightning, but he also used these weapons to punish evildoers and control the weather. In 776 BCE, a sanctuary for Zeus was built at Olympia, where the Olympic Games were held every four years, and sacrifices were offered to him at the end of each game. He was regarded as the king of the Olympian gods, and was the most powerful god of the Greek pantheon. Number 2. Jupiter Because the Romans borrowed much of Greek mythology, their chief god was Jupiter, fashioned after the Greek god Zeus. He was associated with thunder, lightning, and storms. The Romans regarded the flint stone as a symbol of lightning, so Jupiter was represented with such a stone in his hand instead of a thunderbolt. By the time of the rise of the Republic, he was established as the greatest of all the gods, and a temple dedicated to him was built at the Capitoline Hill in 509 BCE. Jupiter was worshipped using many titles such as Triumphator, Imperator, and Invictus, and represented the fearlessness of the Roman army. The worship of Jupiter declined after the death of Julius Caesar, when the Romans began to worship the emperor as a god. Later, with the rise of Christianity and the fall of the empire in the 5th century CE, his worship almost entirely dwindled away. Number 3. Perkans The thunder god of Baltic religions Perkans is also associated with the Slavic Perun, Germanic Thor, and Greek Zeus. In Baltic languages, his name means thunderer or thunder god. He's often represented as a bearded man holding an axe and is believed to direct his thunderbolts to discipline other gods, evil spirits, and men. The oak was sacred to him, as oak trees are most often struck by lightning. Number 4. Tyrannus The Celtic god of thunder, Tyrannus, was represented by both the lightning flash and the wheel. He was worshipped primarily in Gaul, Ireland, and Britain. According to historians, his worship included sacrificial victims, which were burned in a hollow tree or a wooden vessel. Number 5. Thor Thor, the powerful god of thunder in Norse mythology, was a mighty defender of gods and goddesses who were constantly under siege by the forces of chaos. Thor was the most popular god in the Norse pantheon, and his many exploits are recalled in many myths and tales, far more than any other Norse god or goddess. Honorable, loyal, and brave, Thor best represented the values of the warrior class of ancient Germany and Scandinavia. Thor is typically shown wielding his hammer Mjolnir and was invoked for victory in battles and for protection during voyages. In England and Scandinavia, Thor was worshipped by peasants because he brought fair weather and crops. During the Viking Age, his popularity reached its height and his hammer was worn as charms and amulets. However, the cult of Thor was replaced by Christianity by the 12th century CE. Number 6. Tarhun Tarhun was a god of weather and storms and the king of the Hittite gods. He was known to the Hurrian people as Tessa, while the Hattians called him Taru. Tarhun was in charge of the various manifestations of the weather, especially storms, thunder, and lightning. His symbol was a three-pronged thunderbolt, commonly depicted in one hand as he holds another weapon in the other. Tarhan ruled over the mountains and the heavens. Number 7. Hadad An early Semitic god of thunder and storms, Hadad was the chief god of the Amorites and later the Canaanites and Arameans. He was depicted as a bearded deity with a horned headdress, holding a thunderbolt and a club. Also spelled Hadu or Hada, his name probably meant thunderer. He was worshipped in North Syria along the Euphrates River and the Phoenician coast. Number 8. Marduk in Mesopotamian religion, Marduk was a god of thunderstorms and the chief god of Babylon. He's commonly represented as a human in royal robes, holding a thunderbolt, a bow, or a triangular spade. 
The poem Enuma Elish, dating from the reign of Nebuchadnezzar I, says that he was the god of 50 names. Marduk was later known as Bel, which comes from the Semitic term Baal, meaning Lord. Marduk became popular in Babylon during the reign of Hammurabi, around 1750 to 1792 BCE. Since he was a national god, his statue was destroyed by the Persian king Xerxes when the city revolted against the Persian rule in 485 BCE. Number 9. Lei Gong Also known as Lei Shen, Lei Gong is the Chinese god of thunder. He carries a mallet and a drum, which he beats to produce thunder, as well as a chisel to punish evildoers. He's believed to hurl thunderbolts at anyone who wastes food. This thunder god was usually depicted as a fearsome creature with a blue body, bat wings, and claws. While sanctuaries built for him are rare, some people still honor him in hopes that the god will take revenge on their enemies. Number 10. Raijin Raijin is a Japanese god associated with thunderstorms and is worshipped in Daoism, Shintoism, and Buddhism. He's often shown with intense and aggressive facial expressions, holding a hammer and beating on drums which produce thunder. The Japanese believe that the thunder god is responsible for a bountiful harvest, so they continue to pray to Raijin even today. Raijin is typically depicted beside his brother Fujin, the wind god, with whom he frequently fights. Number 11. Indra One of the most important deities in Vedic religion, Indra is the god of thunder and storms. In paintings, he's most commonly depicted holding a thunderbolt, a chisel, and a sword, while riding his white elephant, Aravada. In early religious texts, he plays a variety of roles, from being a bringer of rains to being depicted as a great warrior and a king. He was even worshipped and invoked in times of war. Indra is one of the main gods of the Rig Veda, but later became a major figure in Hinduism. In later Buddhism, his thunderbolts became a diamond scepter called the Vajrayana. Number 12. Shalat The Aztec deity of lightning, sunset, and death, Shalat was a dog-headed god who was believed to be responsible for the creation of humans. The Aztec, Tarascan, and Maya even thought that dogs in general could travel between worlds and guide the souls of the dead. In ancient Mexico, they were a loyal companion even after death. In fact, burials in Mesoamerica have been found with statues of dogs, and some of them were sacrificed to be buried with their owners. Number 13. Ilapa In Inca religion, Ilapa was a thunder god who had control over the weather. He was envisioned as a warrior in the heavens dressed in silver robes. While lightning was thought to come from the flashing of his robes, thunder was produced from his sling. During the times of drought, the Incas prayed to him for protection and rain. Number 14. Thunderbird In native North American mythology, the Thunderbird is one of the main gods of the sky. The mythological bird was believed to create lightning from its beak and thunder from its wings. As an embodiment of the thunderstorm, it's generally associated with power and protection. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button for more great content. Thanks for watching.